welcome back to another vlog. I am getting ready to go to a fun little event. It is currently Saturday, so it is the weekend. The fan is going, so I hope it's not too loud. I'll try to speak up, but it's honestly too hot to turn off the fan like I need it going <laughs> so like I said it's the weekend it's Saturday uh, I tr always try to sleep but Remy wakes up at 7 28 every morning this morning I sat up and was expecting her to like already be barking it was 7 27 and I was like oh yeah maybe she'll sleep in this morning and then it the clock turned 7 28 and I started to hear her whimpering ready to get up so it's fine I don't sleep in that much anyway but always hopeful that that day will come back soon. Anyway, okay, so I'm getting ready for an event. My hair is washed and dried and done pretty much. I'm gonna like recurl it a little bit. I'm just gonna do my regular makeup regime. This is my more intense makeup routine. The last get ready with me I posted was like my easy summer makeup routine. So this is my more glam, if you will, makeup. Something I wanted to talk about in this video is making friends out of college when you're living post-grad life. I know I've been out of college for like a while, even though it doesn't feel like it. I've been out of college, uh, I suppose, four years, three years, four years. Graduated in 2020. I always get asked, you know, how, how do you make friends? How do you meet people? And you know, everyone's circumstance is different. Like I think depending on where you're living post-grad and you know, your kind of job that you're in. For me, when we moved to Dallas, we knew just like a small handful of people um, who, you know, introduced us to other people. I think like for us getting involved in church is a great way to meet like-minded people. For me particularly, almost all of my friends I've made, I met through my blog like through instagram um people will <laughs> dm me and just like want to grab coffee which i love like i said all of my like real life friends are people i've met through social media so i think you know this day and age social media is a huge way to meet people and like one of my friends who moved to dallas I guess a year ago, she has made a lot of her friends through social media too. Like she posts on TikTok and stuff and it's as simple as, you know, someone was like, I think, I think for her, someone commented was like, I think we're in the same building and they ended up like meeting each other and becoming friends. So I think one tip is just like reach out to, you know, people on social media, like don't be afraid to reach out because A, you just never know what's gonna happen. Like it can be something as simple as like a walk or a coffee date, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, you're not committing to this. You know, like if you meet and it, you're like not feeling the vibes, like no harm, no foul, foul, like you'll survive. But I think a lot of people are in the same boat. Like I have reached out to people. <laughs> I reached out to other creators in Dallas, like people who are kind of, you know, posting on social media or whatever. Unfortunately, I never heard back from <laughs> any of them uh but the thing about me is that i just will really give anybody a fair shot you know like i'm down like i'm down to do anything meet up with people it's like my job is extremely social but also can be also extremely lonely sometimes and so i really like for me and my personality i you know i'm making myself go to this event today because all i really want to do <laughs> is take a nap and finish my book that i'm reading but i know that you know I, I invited one of my friends to go one of my new friends that i met through social media who just moved here and i'm like you know i read a book that i highly recommend everyone read it is um, like a little Christian focused, but I wouldn't say it's entirely overwhelming. Like I think even if you weren't religious at all, it would still make a lot of sense and be really valuable information. But it's called Find Your People. It just talks about community and how important it is. And I think something I struggle with is like letting people know that I need them, if that makes sense. Like when I first read the book, I went through this huge like, um, you know, realization. I would like, was like calling all of my friends and my friends who like don't live here. Like all of my best friends don't live in Dallas. Um, and I've made new friends and they've been great and they are, you know, becoming my best friends. But it talks about how you have to put in the hours, you know, for that friendship. Like you have to clock lots of hours because that's how you build relationships like if you think about your closest friends like why are you so close with them more likely than not it's because you spent the most time with that person like my best friend on this planet she and i lived together sophomore year 
and senior year of college. We were best friends just <laughs> merely because we spent so much time together and you know obviously like we get along really well and we love each other and you know all that other stuff too like I love everything about her but you know we've just clocked so many hours together you know when I think you're in your 20s it's hard to first off find the time like for me it is hard to find the time like some days like last night I got really frustrated with myself because I and I even told Grant I was like I feel like I'm not getting enough done like I was on the couch working late into the night on Friday night not late into the night but you know till bedtime for us I just I feel like I'm not getting enough done like I just feel like I'm you know my time management is not going very well and I just need I think this weekend or maybe starting next week I'm just gonna like refresh and like kind of restructure how I am spending my time because like I literally didn't have time to schedule my newsletter. <sighs> like I was live on Fridays, so that's, that's the first time I've ever not remembered to schedule it. Um, and honestly, who noticed? No one. But I did and you know, all that to say, it can be hard to find time to spend time with people, but I think you just have to be super intentional and be flexible. And it, for me, it's a fine line of like, I am extremely flexible. Sometimes I'm too flexible to where I need to be better about saying no and being like, okay, I've spent every night out this week. I need to have one night where Grant and I can have dinner together and, you know, be together. So, and I think being one of the few people that is married, you know, I always want to be like, oh, well, I want to spend time with my girlfriends, but then also like, I'm married. I also really need to spend time with my husband. And so I don't know if, any of that made sense but I just think you know sometimes hearing you know it's not always super easy to make friends in your 20s and that's totally fine because I'm not the kind of person that goes out to bars every weekend I know that's like a way a lot of people make friends and if that works for you that's great like if that is how you find your people props to you it's not for me your girl likes to go to bed at like 9 30 and same with grant like that's just not <laughs> our happy place is at the bar but you know you find other ways to meet people like i know i've talked a lot about um the happy hour social club that i'm in i try to go to those when i can and that's a great way to meet people too like you just kind of put yourself out there and know that everyone's in the same boat you know like no one's judging you if anything people will be flattered if you come up to them and you're like hey wait what's your name do you want to grab coffee or something you know everyone's gonna that would be like a flattering thing <laughs> you know like I would be flattered if someone wanted to do that or if someone you know wanted my number and we could go shopping or go on a walk together you know it doesn't have to be anything intense you know I think just building a community having people around you is such an important thing to do and it does take effort it does take time and like for me like my social battery has to get recharged um, I'm like I feel like I'm an extroverted introvert like I think and I think that's partly because growing up in the south I just feel like you know how to talk to people if that makes sense you know like I could talk about nothing all day I mean I do on my vlogs <laughs> like I talk about nothing all day you know I think it's just really important to have friends build friendships you know I think something that I'm struggling with right now is just like enjoying where we're at in life I always find myself thinking oh well in the future oh well full of years when I'm like I just need to enjoy where we are right now like we love living in Dallas we love our apartment I think maybe part of me holds back because I'm like who even knows if we're gonna be living here in five years I don't know I mean there's so much I've known that we don't know but I'm just like okay well we love it here now we love the people we've met here now um, so let's just enjoy this for now and then worry about the future when it gets here, you know? And I think, you know, I've talked a lot about the comparison game a lot and I think that goes hand in hand with that. That is my, my rant on that. I'm going to finish getting ready and show you guys my potential outfit. Okay, this is the dress I'm thinking of. It's just comfortable and easy and summery. I'm not sure what shoes I'm gonna wear but you can't see my tan lines too bad. These, it pretty much like perfectly covers up <laughs> my tan lines. So I think this is what I'm gonna go with. Also, I don't know if I said this in my last vlog, but I'm sharing all of my outfits 
of the day in the month of June, so 30 days of summer outfits. I'm sharing those on my TikTok, which will also eventually show up in my YouTube shorts. So yeah, if you're not following my TikTok, you want some more summer outfit inspiration, I'll be sharing all my outfits for June on my TikTok. I'll link my TikTok in the description of this video. Um, just kidding. I'm glad that this happened here and not at the event. This strap just pop. I mean, it's an extremely affordable dress and I, I was looking at it when I put it on and I was like, I don't know if this is gonna <laughs> hold. Um, so yeah, there's that. I mean, I'm gonna fix it, but I wouldn't want another strap to pop off too. So we're gonna change directions here. Change directions. The straps on this definitely can't break off. This is from Flying Tomato. I have a code for this. I'll link it in the description. Um, but I think this would be fun Mexican brunch tequila tasting outfit. So get, let me grab shoes. Okay, here is the final look. Sandals are all from Sam Andelman, my go-to Lily and Bean purse. Remy wants to get out of here. I'm gonna let you out. And yay, about to head to the event. Okay, I'm in the car on the way. I saw that Michelle Reed is moving into her house today. For any of y'all who keep up with Michelle Reed, y'all know I love her. And I don't know her in real life. I just follow along with her, but we're kind of in the same kind of stages. Hi, okay, leaving the event. It was so much fun. I'll include some clips from the event. I got these gorgeous flowers. It was just a lot of fun, great little Saturday activity. So now I'm headed back home. Hi, you guys. Okay, I've really just been spending the past couple hours just relaxing on the couch, taking it easy, and then I got this Amazon package in the mail, and I wanted to try it on ASAP to share with you guys. You always are asking for swimsuit wrecks, and this one is from Amazon. I think it's really cute and affordable. I'm wearing a size small. Quality is great, I think, all things considered. The straps are adjustable. I think I need to tighten mine a little bit, um, but there is padding in the swimsuit and it comes with this really cute matching sarong. I think this is really cute. All my Amazon picks are in my Amazon storefront and will be in my Amazon folder on my LTK. I'll also link it in the description, but I think this is a really cute summer find. I think I'm about to change into walking clothes. It's about 3.30, so it's probably about time for Remy to go on her walk. Very, very hot outside. I have the fan going in here. But yeah, it's been just a lazy afternoon, lazy Saturday vibes over here. Okay, and... Would you like to say something to the vlog? <laughs> I <laughs> didn't actually tell you this. In my, I just filmed a little clip for the Amazon swimsuit and I had to kick Remy out because she kept jumping on me and it was getting too hard so I kicked her out of the bedroom. And in, when I was editing the comments, <laughs> Remy barks and Grant goes, shut up! <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> we love Remy Girl, but she is ready to roll, ready to go on her walk. This little exercise dress is from Fabletics. We are headed out the door. <laughs> from our walk and showered and changed into my, what is this, like fourth outfit of the day. <laughs> um, but we're gonna go run out and grab dinner. We're thinking sweet green and potentially go sit by the water or something and eat it just <laughs> to get out of the house and have a little date. So that is what we are about to go do. This set is from Amazon and this tank is from Target. I walk down the stairs and I feel like Remy knows we're about to head out the door. <laughs> Hello, dear. You tired from your walk? I know. 